So you're coming to Hanoi, Vietnam and wondering where to shop. Well guys, today we're taking you through the wholesale mecca of Hanoi at the Dong Swan Market where you can buy literally anything you can think of. So we're looking for tons of things today. Some souvenirs, some things like clothing, some things like shoes. So, time to get started. And negotiation face on. God, the selection here is huge. They have some cute stuff. And they look really comfy. I wonder how much they are. If you guys are looking for the fake Nike shoes that are usually really, really cheap, we haven't been able to find any. But if you go into the old quarter, into a street literally called Shoe Street, there is hundreds of shops, and you can typically get it for about 30 bucks. They have tons of girl shoes. They have tons of accessories. Homegirls in the in the market for some new earrings. And they have so many. Oh my god, Daniel! They have my pretty little flowers. Oh, they are so pretty. Hundred dollar bills for anybody who's interested. Take some back to America. This market surprisingly smells like cinnamon. Oh, hello. Just in case you were looking for some hats, I wonder where we could find some. Hmm. So fun fact, they're going to try and rip you off. That's actually fact. So whatever price they give you, literally shoot them down maybe like, I don't know, 50% of what it is. Because for example, I asked her what the price of these earrings are. She told me 50,000, except the price is on the earring itself and it says 38. If you're in any way claustrophobic, I would skip this market. Only because the walkway is about two feet, maybe. That's amazing. They're like giving each other massages. I'm all about that. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Something I miss a lot is Thai massages. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were literally talking about that yesterday. How many of those did we get in Chiang Mai? Too many. I don't actually want to admit that in public. Yeah, well. It was like three a week. And it was great. It was five bucks each. Amazing. Not that price in Vietnam. Whoa. And then they offer you a happy ending, which I don't know what that means, but I'll leave that to your imagination. Or they offer you a happy ending and then try and rob you like they did this guy. Oh my God, Donnie, can you please tell the story? Mm, that's a long story. Um, let's sum it up. So I was walking alone at night and uh, three ladies decided to creep up on me with their talons out. <laughs> And so one hops off of the scooter and she kind of like comes up and like grabs on me and like grabs my man area and swipes my phone and I'm like, oh, thank you for that. So I decide to yank her off the scooter and well, I don't want to brag, but uh, you don't got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well good, he survived the pickpocket. That's right. So just in case you guys were in the market for a backpack, or luggage, or really anything in between. You have literally plenty of options. I don't think I've ever been to a place that's so jam-packed with as much selection in the same place as here before. But it's really interesting. It's an outdoor market that's indoors. Oh yeah, I'm good. We can just go upstairs. That like little crowded hallway is not worth going down. <laughs> Okay, for the single one is a hundred. That's already less than the other lady, no? She, I thought it was 150 for the small bottle. Now on to floor numero dos. So summary of floor one, they have shoes, luggage, souvenirs, trinkets, fake makeup, some more shoes, coasters, baby Buddhas. Second floor has clothes. To be fair, all of this kind of feels like the clothes that like you put on and the moment you gain like an extra pound, it like will snap at the seams. But it's cute, so let's find out how much this is. Chao Ang, Bao Yu Tian. 
four dollars for the shirt. I have been obsessed with like the traditional Vietnamese dresses, which if you know what they're called, go ahead and write them in the comment section. But I just saw one that has my name all over This is beautiful. I would not be able to wear this anywhere, but this is gorgeous. Four million. Four million? That's uh, long long. Long. Huh? Four million. Long okay. Uh. Come on. Come on. They're so happy. Very nice. <laughs> Come on, sing that <laughs> It's really interesting the variety that you have of people being so lovely to you and then people being such straight up jerks that you want to deck them in the face with how shameless they are. Oh, take a deep breath. <laughs> so, once upon a time, I wanted to be a seamstress. So much so. I actually bought all of the stuff that I needed to sew my own wedding dress. Well, I only got one apron in and maybe a pillow cover, but I love looking at fabric. Look at this. Oh, for me. No? Oh, come on. Okay, well, I like the pants, but they didn't have guy sizes. Honestly, here it's been kind of hard finding what you want. Oh, there's been a lot of times where I'm like, ooh, I want to get that. And I go up to it and they don't have my size. And then I'm like, oh, what they do have in my size is hideous. So keep in mind when you're coming to Vietnam, I thought I was going to have a lot better like clothes and shoe selection. And there is a lot of selection, just not if you're above 6'1". Which for those of you curious at home, Daniel is 6'1 and like an 11 and a half back home in shoes. Yeah, 11 and a half in shoes, US. I'm like a 47 euro size, or I think that's it, here. And they, no one carries it, but it's all good. I will find something eventually. So keep in mind that this is a day market and we're here probably about 4.15 and everyone is already starting to pack up for the day. So get here nice and early. Yeah, when you go to the higher floors, everyone is packing up. I think the market's over for the day, but we're gonna see what else they have. Oh, the whole, the whole top floor is pretty much just baby clothes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, a lot of toddler clothes. And apparently you can smoke in here according to the man standing to our left. <laughs> All right, so this was definitely an experience. <laughs> I may never come here again. Yeah, I wouldn't be bad to say. It's cool to come like once and to see it and experience it, but it's kind of like really claustrophobic, really chaotic. There's a lot of really nice people, but there's equally the same amount of mean people to you. Like Annette got slapped and pushed and... And bro, there is nothing that irks me more than people being rude. It makes all of the ghetto Cuban come out and I... <gasps> but it is a really cool place if you guys wanna come and get like little knickknacks, if you wanna get like fabric in bulk, some shirts, like luggage, stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for coming with us to the Dong Swang Market. Make sure that you give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you turn on that notification bell so that way you guys get notified whenever we post our Nomadic Mondays or our adventures around the world. We are gonna be in Vietnam for the next couple months, so be expecting some amazing content there. I actually wanted to go ahead and read a comment to you guys that we got this last week that was super nice. It was from Suyog Bande and it says, Hello guys, you people always share nice content, which I like as always. Your charm and excitement about each and everything makes me fall in love with the place. Keep it up and plan for India. You're well so friend, sweet. we are planning for India and we will definitely be hitting you up when we go there. But again, thank you guys for joining us on this adventure and we'll see you guys next time.